Hello everyone, Glenda Coker here, known as Gloria, G-L-O-R-Y-I-A. Hello everyone, God is good all the time. Yes, he is. He is such an awesome, 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 <laughs> awesome God. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you and thank you and um, for those of you that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I really appreciate everyone here um, that tunes in every single week. And um, I urge you all that um, are new to tune in every, every single week. That's every single week at 12 o'clock Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Um we are talking about the birth of Jesus. Um, certain things happen that cannot be denied. There are so many things that have happened um, that we simply cannot ignore. And I've been talking about um, Jesus. Uh, we know we this is the holiday season. Um um, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, um, this is um, December 25th is the day that um, a lot of people celebrate um, the birth of Jesus. So we are talking about all about Jesus we've been talking about for the last um, couple of weeks. Um, it is very, very important. Some say that um Jesus was just a man. He was just a man that um, simply just walked the earth. So we have been going through scriptures that just show us just exactly, um, just to make you think if you, you are um, thinking that Jesus was just a man on earth. The scriptures tell us different. And... Um, Last week, we read Luke chapter 1, um, starting at, I believe it was um, verse 26. And it was speaking about how the angel came to Mary and um, told her that she was going to conceive and that um, her cousin Elizabeth, who was up in age, um, there was also a miracle going on with her because she was pregnant also. So... The conversation that Mary, when Mary went to visit Elizabeth, her cousin, um, the things that were said um, about Elizabeth acknowledging um, Jesus, um, who Mary was carrying in her uh, womb, um, the things that um, Elizabeth said to Mary, and the things that Mary said about um, the baby that she was carrying, these conversations that went on with these two women cannot be ignored, cannot be denied. Um, they did happen. They um, are true. And Mary spent three months, three months with Elizabeth while she was in her sixth month. So they had a great time, a great time, the two women, um, both miracles pregnant of, of, of both of them pregnant with miracles. Um, Elizabeth pregnant with John the Baptist and Mary pregnant with the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So go back and read though. Go back and read that account. If you will, we are going to be reading. I am going to be reading from um, Luke, Luke chapter two. Um, get your Bibles and turn to Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. And I am reading from the Amplified. <laughs> uh, whatever version you're reading from, that's fine. Just follow along. And I'm going to be reading just a few scriptures here. And I may stop in between to discuss um, um, a scripture here um, from time to time. But starting with verse 1. Again, that is Luke chapter 2. Now in those days, a decree went out from the emperor, Caesar Augustus, 
that all the inhabited world, the Roman Empire, should be registered in a census. This was the first census taken while Canarius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to register for the census to his own city. So Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, in order to register with Mary, who was betrothed to him, and was with child, and was with child. She was betrothed, we can look at that as today as meaning she was engaged she was engaged to marry joseph and if you hear a little chiming in the background that's just a little christmas music going on in the background here with uh, one of my apps reading along while they were there in bethlehem the time came for her to give birth and she gave birth to her son her firstborn, and she wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no private room for them in the inn, in the inn, I-N-N. In the same region, there were shepherds staying out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them and the glory of the Lord flashed and shone around them and they were terribly frightened but the angel said to them do not be afraid for behold I bring you good news of great joy which will be for all the people for this day in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, the Messiah. And this will be a sign for you, by which you will recognize him. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Then suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, angelic army praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among men with whom he is well pleased when the angels had gone away from them into heaven the shepherds began saying one to another let us go straight to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing that which has happened which the Lord has made known to us so they went in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger and when they had seen this they made known what had been told them about this child and all who heard it were astounded and wondered at what the shepherds told them but Mary treasured all these things giving careful thought to them and pondering them in her heart the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen just as it had been told them. Okay, okay, okay. Going to read one more, um, this one more verse. At the end of eight days, when he was to be circumcised, he was named Jesus. The name given to him by the angel Gabriel before he was conceived in the womb hallelujah 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 
Now the angel, this is um, the angel making his appearance to the shepherds, to the shepherds, telling the shepherds that were in the field with the sheep, telling the shepherds about the birth of this Messiah. He says, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. That is the latter part of verse 10. And go, going on to verse 11, um, the angel said, For this day in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, the Messiah. Okay, right here. This explains right here that Jesus was not just an ordinary man that walked the earth. The angel came to them and said that there has been born a Savior who is Christ the Lord, the Messiah. A Savior. This would not be a regular man. The angel came to announce a miracle that was happening. He came first. The angel appeared. An angel Gabriel appeared to the mother Mary and letting the Mary know what was going to happen to her, what was going to happen to her, that she was going to be carrying a, 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 a miracle. And the angel told Mary um, all the good things, all the good things about Jesus. And this right here, the conversation in Luke chapter 1 with Gabriel and the angel. Gabriel and the angel. This actually took place. This is how um, um, the birth of Jesus started. This is, this, these are the beginnings of the birth of Jesus. The conversation between the angel and Mary. The conversation between um Mary and Elizabeth, all of these things. Now the conversation between the angel and the shepherds. And if we were to read along, also the three wise men, the three wise men and how they came and they, they followed um, the star and everything to find Jesus bringing gifts and everything. So this was no ordinary birth. This was no ordinary birth birth so these things here it's very 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 beautiful and when these shepherds they saw the baby i mean they were in joy um when the 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 angel um came and told them about this baby boy that was that was born already there were angels that appeared also and they were celebrating they were celebrating and um, going down. I am trying to find out. Okay. Verse four, 14, the angel said, glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among men with whom he is well pleased. So they were glorifying. They were happy. They, they said a heavenly host appeared, an angelic army, praising God, praising God. See, so this was just not the coming, the coming of just a regular man that walked the earth. So um, read Luke chapter 1, Luke chapter 2, um, Matthew, Mark, John. Read those scriptures about the birth of Jesus Christ. And also, um, I did a, um, a Christmas CD, a holiday CD. And, um, I'm also a writer and I, I, I write, um, um, rhythmically poetry. And so what I did here, I took, um, I don't have it in front of me, but I, I took a couple of things about Jesus' birth and I wrote about them poetically, poetically in, in, in a rhythmic nature, spoken word. And um, 
there was a little music 